Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Lico. This is the second one in their platform. It's called Add Two Numbers. It's a medium. Let's get into it. You are given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order and each of their nodes contains a single digit. Add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. You may assume the two numbers do not contain any leading zero except the number zero itself. So we won't have any leading zeros unless the number itself is a zero. And example one, we have the linked list with head two, then four, then three, and then our second linked list is head at five, then six, and then four. So here our input is the following, and these are actually reversed. So we're adding 342 and 465. And just to visualize this a little bit better, I'm gonna write it out here. So we have 342 and 465. This added up, you know, what does this equal? So we have 5 plus 2, which is 7. 4 plus 6 is 10. So we keep the 0. We carry the 1. Add 1 up here. 3 plus 4 plus 1, that is 8. So we have 807, and we output it as 708. So we're also outputting it reversed with the head being 7 pointing to 0, which points to 8. And we have example 2. We're just adding 0 and 0, which is 0. And example three, a bunch of nines, and we're summing them together. They are different lengths though, so let's write this out just so it's clear. Okay, so we are summing this whole thing, which comes out to one zero 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 nine nine eight, and we just reverse that and output it. Okay, so it's essentially just addition, right? We just want to sum it up and return our answer as a linked list. Um, let's just go through one more example before we sort of start coding this up. So if I had a number, say, 99, and I wanted to add to that, how would that look like? So I'm summing these two up. I start with my ones digit, I sum them up, I get 18. I want to keep that first digit of my sum, so I keep 8 here, and I carry over the second digit. So I add the 1 as carry, so now I have 9 plus 9 plus 1 which is 19. So I have 9 here. I carry the 1 again, and there is no number underneath here, so we just write 1 down here. So 99 plus 99 equals 198. So again, we're just doing addition, and when we return this, our head would be 8, and our linked list would be going from 8 to 9 to 1. So let's go ahead and code this up, and then run through some examples. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is set what my output is going to be. I know I want to return the sum as a linked list, so I'm going to initialize that. My return list is going to be a node. So let's start this off with list node. And I can see up here that this is a type list node. It already has default values set, so we don't really need to pass anything in. This current node is just value zero with no next node. So this is my return list. And I'm going to have a head that points to it so we know where to return. Because whenever we have a linked list, we always want to return wherever the head is. And that's the beginning of the linked list. So we have that. Now, how do we actually sum it up? We want to go through both of our lists. So we want to go node by node. But in the beginning, we only have our two heads. So whatever the linked list is for L1 or L2, remember they're only being shown by their head nodes. So over here, in the beginning, we would only know two and five. We wouldn't know how long anything is. So we want a while loop. So while L1, so while it still exists, while there are still nodes that need processing, or L2, while either list still has nodes, or we saw here that even though there might not be digits, there could still be a carry. So we want to account for that. So if either L1 or L2 exists, or our carry exists, then we want to continue adding it up. And for this, of course, I would have to initialize carry. In the beginning, I'm going to set that to zero. So now I am in my while loop, while L1 or L2 or carry. What do I want to do now? I want to figure out what my sum is going to be at those digits. So whatever L1 is pointing to right now, L2 is pointing to right now, and whatever the value carry holds, we want to sum them up. So I'm going to initialize my current sum to be zero. And if L1 exists, 
So if there are still nodes to process in L1, so if L1, then current sum plus equals L1 dot val, because we do want the value of the node. And same if L2, current sum plus equals L2 dot val. Because remember, L1 and L2 just represent the nodes, the list nodes, we need to extract the value. And now all that is left to add is the carry, so current sum plus equals whatever carries value is. Now what do we do? We actually have the current sum. Now we want to check if it is greater than 10, in which case we keep that digit, that single digit, as our sum and carry forward the rest. So for this, what is digit equal to? Digit is going to equal whatever the remainder for 10 is. So current sum mod 10. And this is because, say in this example, we had 18. We keep the 8, carry forward the 1. So 18 mod 10. So what is the remainder for 18 divided by 10? That is 8. So that's what's going to be in our digit. And what's in our carry? Carry is going to be current sum integer division by 10. So 18 integer divided by 10 is just 1. You can only put in 10 once when you're dividing for 18. So that's what our carry is. And now what do we want to do? We want to return our sum as a linked list. So we need to start building up these nodes. My current node is going to hold the digit, the current sum that I've just calculated. So this is going to be appended to the next value of my current return list. And if this at all at any point gets confusing, we're going to run through an example. So it's going to clear up that. So for now, return list dot next is going to be a list node that takes in digit as its value. Now, what is left to do? We actually want to increment our L1 and L2 pointers, but only if they exist, if they're not none. So I can just add these to these checks right here. So if L1 exists, then L1 dot next. And same here, if L2 exists, then L2 dot next. So now we've incremented our pointers for L1 and L2. We want to do the same for return list because we want to keep appending to our newest digit. So what I'm going to do is return list equals return list dot next. It now points to the new node we have added. And in the end, I want to return whatever I have formed. So remember in the beginning, we set head to return list. So we have a pointer in the beginning, but this node is sort of just a dummy node. We want to do return head dot next because that's when we actually start building up the digits. So this is what the code is. Let's just run this for now. Okay, we've got time limit exceeded. This means that we are not correctly incrementing our next pointers. We're running into some sort of infinite loop. Let's see how we are actually incrementing. L oh, we need to set L1 to be L1.next and L2 to equal L2.next. So now if we go ahead and run this, it should be accepted and we can go ahead and submit. And it is accepted as well. Before leaving, let's just run through an example. And we can go ahead and use example one right here. So we have 243 and 564. So these are our L1 and L2, but I'm gonna go ahead and reformat this a little bit. So this is our L1 points to our head two and L2, which points to our head five. Now let's just go line by line and see exactly what is happening. Okay, the first thing I am going to do is make a return list. This creates a list node. So if I'm passing nothing in, my value is zero and there is no next node. There's no next pointer right now. So this is zero. And my next line head is equal to return list. So head also points to this zero. And carry equals zero. So carry is zero. So while L1 or L2 or carry, so L1 exists, L2 exists, carry is zero. So it is a false in Python, zero is equal to false. So we don't actually have to explicitly state that carry is not equal to zero. We can just say while any of these are true, so while they exist, we do this while loop. So what do we do here? We set current sum equal to zero. If L1, which it does exist, current sum plus equals L1. So we're going to add to our current sum the value of L1, which is two. And now we're setting L1 equal to its next value. L1 equals L1.next. 
So two right now points to four for its next, and we're simply moving L1 down to four. Now we go to L2, if L2 it does exist, we add this to our current sum. So two plus five is seven, and we move L2 down as well. So now it points to six. So now we do current sum plus equals carry in case there was any carry over, which there wasn't. So seven plus zero is just seven. And we find the digits and the carry. So now digit is equal to our current sum mod 10. So the remainder from our current sum would be seven and our carry would just be zero. So that is still zero and return list dot next. So what is next over here is going to be a list node with this digit being passed in. So now I'm creating a new node that has value seven and no next pointer for now. What I'm doing now is setting return list equal to my next node. So return list now points to seven. Head will stay where it is at zero. I am back in my while loop. So while L1 or L2 or carry, these are true. Current sum is equal to zero. If L1, L1 does exist, current sum plus equals L1.val. So we are adding four over here and moving down L1 to three. Now, same thing with L2, right? We're adding six to our current sum, which is 10, moving down L2. Current sum plus equals carry. There's nothing to carry, it's just 10. Now we find the digit. So current sum mod 10, that would be zero. And current sum integer divided by 10, that is one. So we have a carry now, and we now make a new list node. So return list.next equals a new list node of our digit, which is zero. So we have zero now, and we move return list to be this new value right here. We are back in this while loop. So L1 is three, and L2 is four in this while loop. So we are back in here. And we set current sum equal to zero. If L1, we add this value in, so we are adding three and moving L1 down to now point to nothing. We are at L2, so this does exist. We are adding its value, so three plus four is seven and moving this down as well, this now points to none. Current sum plus equals carry. We do have a carry, so we add this to our current sum and we do these things again. So what is digit here? That is just going to be eight and carry is going to be zero. Eight integer divided by 10 is zero. We make a new return list. The node is now eight because that is what the digit is. And I move return list down. In the end, all I have to do is return head.next. So this was pointing at zero and now I'm returning head.next. So seven and onwards. I'm pointing at seven, returning that. So I return seven, which points to zero, which points to eight which is the output that we wanted. Now time and space complexity for this, time we're going through both linked lists. So that would be O of N for time and O of N for space because we're building out another linked list. So that is O of N as well. If you have any questions at all, let me know down below. Otherwise I will see you next time.